Over the last year, several college athletes have died by suicide, and many were women. New tonight, I speak to a competitive swimmer who's also struggled with her mental health. She tells me how social media and body image have been hard to handle at times, especially during her teen years, and who she now thanks for helping her become a healthier athlete and person. Eighteen-year-old Lutnia Bogdanova started swimming competitively at just three years old, with year after year of success, but she faced some obstacles along the way. At some points, it would just make me feel like I was in like a closet, like I couldn't speak to anyone. It just kind of felt like that no matter what I did, I just felt like I wasn't really good enough. Lutnia's mental well-being began to suffer at 13 years old with bouts of depression and anxiety. Everyone wants to compete at their best. Everyone wants to make the team proud, make their coaches proud. And it's just having all this anxiety and then pressure just build up like that and just makes you crumble. It's just, it just got to be a lot sometimes. And she says being a swimmer and a woman brings its own struggles when it comes to body image issues. With females, it's like they always see themselves comparing themselves to another athlete. It's like, wow, I want to have this perfect image that doesn't even seem realistic in some ways. And then they just kind of add that on with like academic pressure and athletic pressure. And it's just, they just fall apart. And Lutni admits spending time on social media impacted her self-esteem. I just kind of think social media at that young age just isn't very healthy. Now that I look at it all these years later, for a 13 year old to look at like a 27 year old model and just think, I want to be like that, it's just, I don't think it's very healthy. And now she thanks her two coaches who've helped develop her, both physically and mentally, into the competitor she is today. I think she comes every day with the mentality of I want to get as much out of this workout as I can whether it's a technique thing or a speed thing or an endurance thing um, and leave knowing that she's learned something. Take your mark. Go. Coach Jared Pike has trained Lutnia for over four years and says she's extremely talented but like so many teen athletes he worries about how social media impacts their self-esteem as they compare themselves constantly to other athletes online. I have a conversation with a lot of the kids on our team is you know you don't have to be 100% perfect every single time. If you have a bit of a bad swim or you have a bad day or even if you have a bad week it's a learning point to then grow and get better and further down the line and not everyone um, develops at the same speed. And he's been particularly concerned about Lutnia's mental health struggles. We had a, a very tough situation two years ago, I think, two or three years ago in a 200 butterfly when she just stopped halfway through the race and she had a panic attack because she was worried that if she didn't go a certain time or do a certain thing in the race that everyone was going to judge her. Lutnia recalls that swim meet as being one of the most challenging of her swimming career. Halfway through, I just felt like I was getting no air into my lungs or anything, so I was just like gasping for air. But she powered through and eventually finished the race. She's just uh, developed and uh, and, and grown so much is just remarkable. Coach Lee Softner owns Riptide Aquatics in Lakeland, a year-round competitive swim team Lutnia has been a part of for many years. He's coached Lutnia since she was just eight years old. I, I really hate to lose her, but I, I know that she's going to be better off where she's going. You know, and she, she's not going to do anything except progress and get better. That progress now takes her on a full ride to the University of West Florida's swim team. And along with her coaches, Lutnia says her parents, first-generation immigrants from Russia, also helped her mental well-being as they know what it's like to compete on the world stage. My mom was a world-class gymnast and my dad was world-class like deadlifter and, and weightlifter and stuff like that. And they both know the struggles of putting a lot of pressure on yourself because of sports and I just kind of told them how I felt really upset about myself. I wasn't getting all this results and both of them were shared their stories to me of how they felt the same way. And Coach Pike wants to remind all athletes to lean on others if you're struggling and remember you're never alone. There is the support and they need to be open about how they're feeling. It's not a sign of weakness, it's a sign of strength to come forward and speak about it. 
Meanwhile, Coach Pike says many colleges like to use athletes' Instagram and Facebook profiles to understand what type of athlete they're recruiting. But he warns that puts extra pressure on many young athletes because they'll try to portray who they think a college wants to recruit instead of who they really are.